Ole Miss quarterback Jackson Dart took one of the biggest steps any quarterback took last year from 2022 to 2023. He showed a lot of improvement and showed the ability to develop, and he could very well be the best quarterback in the SEC in 2020. Four, there's a few reasons why, and I want to dive into some film and look at it. Number one, I think it's his ability to uh, to improve, and he improved big time in the progressions department, being able to to, to read the defense and be able to uh, see one thing pre-snap and another thing post-snap. He improved in that area. Number, th- number two, his ability to push the ball downfield and do it accurately. And then number three, his athletic ability, something that, I mean, he's one of the best running quarterbacks in the SEC. Obviously, you got Miller, but then after that, you know, him, maybe Brady Cook. So uh, that ability helps separate him from other quarterbacks. But the biggest <clears throat> the, the biggest thing that stood out to me last year was his ability to improve in one specific category, and it was the ability to to have success without the use of play action. Now, play action is always going to be a big deal for Ole Miss, for anyone in Lane Kiffin's offense. And he did pretty good on play action in 2022, but he really struggled without the use of play action in 2022. So if we go back and look at the stats real quick, 57% of all of Jackson Dart's dropbacks in 2022 was off play action. Excuse me. <clears throat> he had he had right over right under oh, excuse me right under 3,000 yards passing in 2022, 2,974 yards passing, uh, and only 930 yards were thrown without the use of play action. And so just didn't have a lot of success not using play action. His yards per attempt were 6.2, only four touchdowns. So he just had trouble with the offense. Fast forward to 2023, he took a huge step forward. He had over 1,500 yards passing in 2023 without the help of play action. Uh, 12 passion touchdowns, three picks, yards per attempt were up by over a yard, 7.7. And so you saw him just really develop and take that next step. And that's one of the most impressive things, excuse me, <clears throat> I can't talk, excuse me, as a quarterback whenever you don't have to use play action. Like we said, play action is always going to be part of the game. And, and not to mention, in 2023, the play action went to 45% of his drop back. So it dropped by like 10%. And without the use of play action, it went up 10%, and he had an even better season. So it was a really big improvement year for Dart. I think if he can take a similar step forward, he can definitely be the best quarterback in the SEC. So with that said, we're going to dive into some film. The first few clips, we're going to look at his ability to progress and read the defense and and scan one side of the field and go back to the other side of the field without the use of play action. The other clips, uh, uh, we're going to look at his accuracy downfield, use of play action and without play action, but we're going to see him throw an accurate ball downfield, then we're going to see his running ability and dive into that as well. Again, those are kind of three areas that I think kind of separate him uh, or, or could separate him to healthy potentially being the best quarterback in the SEC. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive into the film. Again, we're going to watch the progressions first and then go from there. The first clip we're going to watch of Dart, I think we've got to watch two clips actually of Dart going through progressions, a straight drop back pass against something he struggled with in 2022 and something he got a lot better with uh, in 2023 so we'll go ahead and see if we'll go ahead and press play boom so it's going through progressions he starts off looking to the left side of the field you're going to see him come around the right side and make a really really accurate throw here again we talked about the improvement that he had in this category he really struggled in 2022 2023 rolls around he took a really big step and he, he was of course good in play action as well as we mentioned uh, but i like seeing these type of throws i like seeing this is stuff that can transfer to the next level where you have straight drop back throws uh, that you have success on. So a good accurate throw. Again, he looked at the left. Let's see if we can dive. Let's see if we can fast forward a little bit. Boom. So we're going to see, begin the play. He looks to the left. Boom. Nothing there. Comes back to the right. And then delivers a strike downfield. Accurate throw. Pretty good coverage as as well. So again, this is probably my favorite thing about, about Dart. I think this is, you keep building on this. I really think these type of throws is what can potentially make him the best quarterback in the SEC. It's going to watch one more throw like this, and there's a few more categories I want to dive into. Similar play to last last play we just watched. Now, there is a little, like, kind of fake play action here almost. It's not play action, but it's a fake screen, and he comes across the field. But he's still going through his progressions here. He still has to get his, his eyes to the other side of the field. But it's a really, really good throw in the tight coverage. This is against Georgia, a really good team, obviously. So we're going to see some pressure starts to get in his face. The pocket starts to collapse. His eyes remain downfield, and you're going to see him be able to put the ball into a really, really tight window here. It's kind of blurry footage, I apologize. But right here, not a lot of room for error, uh, but he's able to throw a strike for a big play at this point point in the game. Really good throw by Dart here. So it's throws like this that I think, like, man, if he can keep repeating that, repeating that, which he did in 2023, uh, could, could potentially make him the top in 2024. So we're going to watch a few more things, a few more clips. 
I want to show his athletic ability that he has. I think you know something else that helps him stand apart from some of these other top quarterbacks in the SEC, like maybe Quinn Ewers and Carson Beck. And then we're also going to to check out some of his accuracy when pushing the ball downfield. That's another I think point to his game that's uh, that's pretty impressive as well. Two back to back plays of Dart uh, showing his accuracy downfield. So we're going to see is this against Georgia Tech, I believe so. So going through progressions, starts the right side of the field, comes back, looks to the left side. We're going to see him push the ball downfield accurately. And you're going to see a good throw in the middle of the field. The next clip's going to show an accurate throw outside the numbers. So middle of the field, yes, he's open, uh, but he does a good job keeping him open right before this DB can come in and, and disrupt the play. Does this go? I don't think this goes for a touchdown. Uh, no, it doesn't. But yeah, able to get the ball there before the DB is able to come and, and disrupt the play. So again, Play action here, push the ball downfield, accurate throw in the middle of the field. This next clip, let's see if we can kind of speed it up a little bit. Boom. This next clip we're going to see top of the numbers. Top of the numbers. A little play action again. Not play action, a little pump fake again. Something that Dart does a lot and Lane Kiffin kind of does a lot here. Able to pump fake here. Someone sitting on top of that receiver. And then he's able to throw a good, accurate throw with pressure in the space to a made ad, right? We got the pocket kind of collapsing in. It's a good job the offensive line, but it's never fun to throw in those, you know, you only have a yard of space. But a good job of the offensive line still, and then throws an accurate ball downfield outside the numbers. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see if we can kind of speed it up a little bit. And then right there, right? Pretty good recovery by the DB, uh, but nonetheless an accurate throw by Dart that does it lead to a touchdown? Maybe knee down, so maybe we'll call it the one yard line, but still two accurate throws, two good examples of, of Dart being able to push the ball downfield in an accurate manner. So a few clips of Dart running here. The first clip is going to be a scramble, goes for a first down. At this point in the game, Julian's up by, was it 10? Was it 17-7 here? But regardless, Dart scrambles here. The next player you're going to see a design quarterback run, and, and Dart's one of the best running quarterbacks in, in the SEC. Obviously, Miller is going to be number one, but I mean, him and Brady Cook, both deceivingly good athletes and they, they, they utilize their ability to run uh, often so this time pressure comes in he's able to escape i know i kind of just fast forward it real quick he's able to escape pick up the first down in this case here um it's a broken play able to pick up the first down this next play we're going to see is a designed quarterback run this what i think separates darts from so many other quarterbacks and so many other uh, just players in general it's his ability to to run when needed so this play is actually kind of broken it's a design of quarterback run. We're going to see Tulane defends it really, really good. You got pressure here. You got the linebacker filling here. It's actually just a really good read by Dart to get out of this position. A little broken tackle there. And then we see him go upfield uh, for, for a big play, just showing his athletic ability. Not a touchdown here, I don't believe, but gets upfield. I think this was like a second 20 uh, or, or something. He picks up the first down here. So, again, I think this – ability that Dart has is, is just another part of his game that does separate him from some of the other quarterbacks and in, in the league. So last clip we're watching a Dart here, just showing that his, his ability as a runner. Uh, we'll go ahead and finish this clip and then wrap this video up. Again, just a few clips, but we saw his ability to read the defense without using play action. We saw his ability to throw accurate balls downfield, and then we saw his athletic ability as well, so if he repeats what he did last year, maybe takes a little step forward. He could definitely be the best quarterback in the SEC right now. You got you know Carson Beck, Quinn Ewers, Brady Cook, Jalen Milrow, a lot of good quarterbacks in the SEC. But if Dart takes that next step, and if Ole Miss lives up to the hype that they're getting this offseason, Dart could be, could definitely be the best quarterback in the SEC. See, so Ole Miss fans or just quarterback fans in general, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think, one, about Dart's improvement from 2022 to 2023? And then, two, let me know what your thoughts are, if he can be the best quarterback in the SEC. And if this is your first time tuning in the channel, please consider subscribing, like, share the video, all that fun YouTube stuff. It really does help us grow. We're just a big quarterback hub. We talk all things quarterback. So, like, share, subscribe. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.